Hello everyone. Thank you for coming up today. My old subscribers, thank you. And to those that are viewing for the first time or that have not subscribed, please click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. And to my new subscribers, thank you for subscribing. This is really tragic and it's very, very gruesome. A mother has been arrested for killing her own five years old daughter and she carried out a very gruesome act on her. Josemir Gomez da Silva, that's the mother of the girl, she's 30 years old and she has been arrested by the police after they were called to her home in Brazil. This happened yesterday. She carried out a horrific act on her own five years old child. And the victim's grandfather reportedly saw blood running from the outside drain. And then he broke into the bathroom where Jasmine and her daughter was at that time before he had seen everything or got to find out what had happened. All he could see was his granddaughter's lifeless body beside her mother, who was praying in a daze and called the police. However, the five years old daughter's eyes were gouged out that the mom plucked out the five years old daughter's eyes and even her tongue cut off the girl's tongue. This is so horrible. A mother carrying this kind of a gruesome act on her own child. It's a horrific ordeal. And investigators believe that these injuries inflicted with a pair of scissors while she was still alive caused the daughter to die. Because she had used scissors to plug out her daughter's eyes. She gouged it out with scissors. And the daughter was still alive when she did this. This was the pain the daughter went through. And that was what caused her daughter to die. And it has also been reported that Jasmine, who was sedated and then taken to the police station in Delmiro, had chewed her own daughter's amputated tongue. After cutting the tongue, she now chewed ate her daughter's tongue. The mom allegedly gave a statement to the police the following morning, that's the morning, in a number of languages, including Spanish. And during the statement, she said to have denied gouging out her daughter's eyes and putting her daughter's amputated tongue in her mouth. And to our greatest surprise that the suspect is known to suffer from mental health issues, including depression. But she's currently being held at the police station in Brazil and will be transferred to the women's prison in the state capital as the case is still under investigation. Is this not a very terrible and gruesome act? Is it not a horrible act to carry out on your own child? Fine. Okay, right now, they are now attributing it to the fact that she has mental illness. The question is, if people knew or the father or her own mother or anybody knew that this particular lady, Gomez, had mental illness, then why leave someone who has mental illness with a child? Because it's clear here that she has been known to having a mental illness. Why wasn't any reports made? Why wasn't this child taken either to DCFS or somewhere where they take care of kids that their parents have some incapabilities to handle those children? Why leave this little innocent girl to suffer in the hands of her mental ill mother and then die in such a pain? Because from what they have gathered is that this child died because the mom took her eyes out plugged it out with scissors and you can imagine the pain a little child of five years old will go through because she was still alive when she was carrying out this particular act that wasn't enough cut off her tongue and even chewed the tongue 
You know, sometimes you just be imagining what kind of mental illness do some people have that their own mental illness is just to go and kill, carry out horrible acts. If you can see the previous video that I had posted earlier about the students who killed five people, four of his family members, all gone, killed all of them at the same time and then killed the worker in his family's business. So five people all at the same time. And now they are saying he has mental illness. You will be asking, does this mental illness just push them to just kill people? Is it a mental illness for committing murder? A lot of questions to be asked. This case is even so horrible, horrible because one, they got to know that she already had mental illness issues. It's not like they are just knowing. Then, why leave mental illness person with a child? Why didn't you take her to the place where she can be treated? And for a mental illness person carrying out this kind of an act, you'll be asking, probably there are some forces that are controlling this particular woman or that they were actually pushing her to do what she did. For a human being to sit down, Take your time and do this thing to your own child. Won't you hear the child crying? Or is it that if... I don't know how it works, but... Does it mean if some people are mentally ill, they are doing things... There are certain things that you'd be doing that should bring your attention back. Like in this case, when the child will be screaming and crying... You should know it's your daughter because you've been with her for years and she was still living with this child even while she was confirmed mentally ill. At the point when this child will be screaming, is that not enough to bring her back to her senses and stop? But you remove, plugged out one eye with the scissors. She's still crying and screaming and you plug out the other eyes, cut off her tongue. It still didn't occur to her that this is her mother. And she... Is still bold to testify because when they brought her out yesterday morning, she was now saying that she did not carry out any gruesome act on her child. So as soon as this happened, she forgot what she did. While she was eating her daughter's tongue, she didn't remember what she did. Sometimes you will just be saying, this could be, if these people are really mentally ill, then there are some forces that are controlling them. Because mentally ill somebody, you see them, they will either run around the streets or but killing someone. Some people do, some mentally ill people, that's what they do. They carry out horrible acts, dissecting human beings like it is just an artwork they are carrying on. It's so painful that this little girl went through pain before she passed away. Five years old daughter. It's such a very big pain for this little girl. I pray that the soul of Sylvia rests in perfect peace with the Lord. And I pray that Almighty God should console her other family members and friends. It's a pity that this beautiful little girl had to go pass away just like that. It's so horrible, very, very horrible to hear or even see something like this. Please, for those of you that know people that are mentally ill and they still have families, they still have kids especially, or people around them, please, it's better you call for help on time. Take them to the appropriate source where they can get help. Don't leave them, especially around kids. A lot of people have carried out gruesome acts on children and in the end they say it's mental illness that has caused it. If someone is giving signs, because definitely there will be signs of mental illness, don't wait until it has gotten out of hand when this person has either killed somebody or taken someone else's life. Don't wait till that time. Please call for help immediately. If it's your own family member, take the person to where he can, he or she can get the appropriate help he deserves or he can get. Please don't wait until it has gotten so far. It's such a pity that this little girl passed away. Once again, may her soul rest in perfect peace with the Lord. Friends, I'm here today to talk about 
how to start up a new YouTube channel. So for those that are looking to start up a new YouTube channel, probably you've been trying to figure out how to go about it or you have been trying to see what it entails or what you need to start. That's why I'm here today to give you the easy way for you to get this done. Not just the easy but the best method and also to give you or to talk about the best teacher who will give you all that it's required for you to start up your own YouTube channel. This is a teacher. He is really successful with his YouTube and he has been a teacher for so long now. Teacher is Matt Pa. He's going to give you a step-by-step -step method on how to start up your own YouTube channel. No stone unturned. Every step of the way, he's going to lead you through it. You have links that you can actually reach out to him and communicate with him directly. That's Matt Pa there. You can see the huge successes he has made in YouTube. You can see his silver. You can see the gold. You can also see his revenue that he's actually making on YouTube, which is very huge. He is going to give you a YouTube step-by-step -step tube mastery class. Every step of the way from the beginning of the opening of the channel to how you can start up and put up your videos. He is leaving no stone unturned, like I said. So for those that are seeking for how to start up their own YouTube channel, this is the easiest and the fastest way for you to have access to this particular teacher who is honest and straightforward and you will enjoy every bit of the class. And you will have lots of gain. At the end of your class, you will have lots to hold on to and to start up your own YouTube channel. It's going to be like an ABC class starting from the scratch. So please, for those of you that are interested in starting up your own YouTube channel, Matt Pa, he is the teacher and you will have direct access to him. I'm dropping the link below. So please, you just click on that link and you will have access to Matt Pa's class. He is going to give you the whole content of YouTube and all that it takes for you to be successful in YouTube and how to start YouTube from the scratch like i said and i'm going to repeat he's leaving no stone unturned and it's so interesting that if you have any kind of complaint no matter the time you have this complaint or you are confused about anything you can communicate directly to him and he will give you a response as soon as he gets your question or as soon as he gets your mail or anything you're trying to confirm from him. He is quick at responding and he will give you the right answers. And even if you go elsewhere to search, you find out that what he is saying is actually true. He wouldn't mislead you. So please, for those of you that want to start your own YouTube channel from the scratch and see how you can be successful on YouTube, Please go to this link, click on the link below so you'll have access to the teacher. That's the teacher there you can see and see his success. You can go through that and then you click on the link so that you can have direct access to Matt Pa himself. This teacher, you will enjoy and enjoy every bit of the classes that he's going to give to you. So friends, do not forget to click the link below so you have access to Matt Pa's 
to mastery class and he will give you the best teaching for you to you will really need to start your own channel friends thank you for coming up today please for those that have not subscribed click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video thank you once again and god bless you all